Hey guys, HCG Chica. This is my update to let you go. Uh, let you guys know how I'm maintaining. Um, today is day 60. Um, since I finished my last round, I'm in P4. Um, I am 130.6 this morning, which is the weight I've been maintaining. I've been maintaining between um, like 128 and 130. Um, I just always vacillate between those those numbers depending on if I exercise and stuff like that. Um, my pounds of fat, I had kind of gotten to 34 pounds of fat um, before I started doing the Eat Stop Eat program with fasting twice a week. Um, so I've been maintaining at the 34 pounds of fat. Um, however, I'm actually pleased to tell you all that for the last seven days, I've been under 34 pounds of fat. I've been like around 33. So I think it's now safe to say that I've lost a pound of fat um, without even trying <laughs> while doing this other protocol to maintain my weight. Um, so anyway, it's been three weeks since I started the Eat Stop Eat thing. If you want to learn more about it, the website is, um, sorry, drop my pen, bradpilon.com. And I have no interest at all in this at all. I just, I was searching for a way to maintain my weight after this last round. Um, my trouble was I got down to 122.8 was my LDW and I totally stuck to strict P3 foods. Um, but my weight started climbing like super quick. <laughs> um, and I just, I finally realized that I, I just was eating too much. You know, it was just the amounts that were the trouble, not, not what I was eating. I'm eating good stuff. I'm eating, you know, vegetables, mostly vegetables and meat, you know, um, but it was still climbing. So I got up to like one... 129, then 130, which is where I am right now, and I got up to that weight back on day 35 of P3, so in a month's time, I had kind of gained um, about 8 pounds, and 4 pounds of that was fat. So needless to say, I wasn't happy about that at first. So I was, you know, just trying to do some research, figuring out how can I find a way um, to maintain my weight long term um, for me in a way that's not going to be miserable. You know, I really, really don't like to calorie count. Um, most of the foods I prepare, it would be very difficult for me to find, uh, find out the amounts of calories in them. Um, especially when I cook for my family. So I just was doing some research and I had come across this guy before, Brad Pilon. He's like a Brad, uh, he's a, a Brad, he's a, um, a bodybuilder slash nutritionist. Um, and, you know, I tend to look up to what these bodybuilder guys say because they have a lot of muscle and they're strong. Um, and so I figure if they're doing something like whatever they're, you know, advocating, I'm more prone to listen to it because they're obviously maintaining their muscle mass while doing it. So anyway, um, his protocol advocates fasting twice a week um, for a period of 24 hours. So usually like dinner to dinner, something like that. Um, I've been doing it for a full three weeks now. So um, yeah, I guess a full three weeks. I, I did my first fast day on January 1st actually. Um, yeah, and I've done seven fast days total since that time, um, and then today is the 21st. And that whole time, it keeps my weight between 128 and 130. Um, the whole idea is to create a uh, weekly calorie deficit instead of looking at it day by day. And in my case, I'm actually not even looking to create a deficit at all. I'm just trying to keep things even, you know, so that I can maintain my weight right now until my next round. So um, I'm doing that, and I'm doing the CrossFit. I do the CrossFit like three to four times a week. It's like an interval heavy weightlifting class. So I am really doing good. I'm so excited. This is totally working for me. Um, I have actually, the neat thing is, even though my weight um, is basically staying around 130 or, you know, between around, it always goes back up to 130 at some point. Um, but just to see my fat actually drop a little, that was pretty neat because basically the other days that are not my fast days, I eat um, however much I want. Now, by that, I mean I don't eat any sugars or refined or processed foods. I've, I've changed my diet for good. I have some health issues that require that I don't eat gluten 
that I don't eat out, um, stuff like that. So certain things like that, you know, make it a little easier. But um, yeah, like my favorite snack right now is um, the almond butter with the flax seeds in it from Trader Joe's with an apple. Um, I love that. I have Brussels sprouts with butter. Have you know, I just have all kinds of good healthy vegetables and salad and meat and fruit. I have plenty of fruit again, and I'm loving it. So the interesting thing that I wanted to tell you guys is that. Um, Something has changed recently for me since I started this protocol. Um, for some reason, I feel like I always want to be eating, usually. Usually, I always think like, oh, I'm going to eat something. You know, anytime I'm not eating, I feel like, oh, I, I think I'll eat something. I want to eat. That sounds fun. Um, since I started doing this fasting twice a week, it's so weird. In the last week... I have started find, finding myself not being concerned with food, like not wanting to eat. Like say I ate an hour ago and I'll go into the kitchen and I'm like, oh, I, you know, I should eat something because I'm not eating right now. <laughs> and uh, and it's weird. My brain is actually telling me like, you know, I don't know. I don't actually feel like eating though. I think I'll just have some tea, um, which is what I did. And you know what? That is the weirdest feeling for me. I don't recall the last time that I felt that way. Usually if I think of food or I see it, I want to eat it. It was very strange to me that it wasn't appetizing to eat. Um, and this was on one of my eat days, you know. So um, I just wanted to share that because I think for a lot of us, the struggle is like mentally and emotionally wanting food all the time. And I, I just can't believe that I felt satisfied and that I didn't feel the need to stuff myself. Because, you know, right out of this round, and, and a lot of times, um, I just tend to overeat. I eat so much that I feel overly full. But I feel driven to do that. And I, I didn't know why. You know, maybe it was a leptin issue. It could have been all kinds of things. Um, but it's weird. This is like, it's like resetting me so that I'm not overeating. And all of a sudden, I've also been eating less as a result, just by choice, not because I'm trying but just because that's just what happens. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, and the, the other reason I'm loving it is just because it gives me the freedom not to think about food all the time. Um, I have a lot of other things, you know, I want to do in my life. And I don't want to spend all day every day, um, you know, just worrying about how much I'm eating, you know, and stuff like that. So by having these two days that I just don't eat and I just drink tons of tea all day long, and then by the time dinner comes around at 7 or 8 o'clock, I just, I eat what I want. I eat the amounts I want the other days. And the interesting thing is that I'm naturally eating less on my eat days lately now anyway, which is maybe why I'm having a drop in fat. So Anyway, for anyone who's having trouble maintaining or hasn't found a good way for themselves yet, definitely check this out. Um, it's pretty amazing. I've obviously not lost any muscle. I'm, I'm still gaining muscle, actually. Um, it's just fantastic. Um, oh, the other thing I wanted to mention about it. It helps me to crave real food. Um, in the past, when I would start something new that was healthy, I would start out good cooking vegetables and all that stuff, but... As time went on, I don't know if you guys experienced this as well, as time went on, I would start leaning too much on certain types of foods that weren't really real food. I don't know, did you guys ever have that where it's like a crutch food that fits into your diet plan? Like, for instance, a low-carb diet bar or, you know, some sugar-free item that has sugar alcohols in it. Uh, I just found myself relying too much on those foods, and after a while, that's what I would crave, and I wouldn't really want vegetables. I would eat it because I should, but I wouldn't really want it. Um, ever since I've been doing this, it totally resets the types of foods that I want. It's like every week I'm never allowed to get off track really because it resets me. Not eating for most of that day. By the end of the day, I'm like, oh man, I so want Brussels sprouts with butter and some steak, you know, um, or salad. I, I crave real food now. I don't crave other stuff. I do have a little sugar-free chocolate now and then. I have the... Um, this little Trader Joe's one, this is the milk chocolate one, this is half of half of it. But I want to just mention another thing. For a while I was eating a whole bar of this, um, and I might even do it every day. I, I don't know what, you know, in the past it's just, I don't know, I just would get out of control even with things that taste sugary. And one bar, this is 480 calories, so 
that's kind of a lot for just one chocolate bar, you know, but I would eat the whole thing and then I might do it again the next day. Um, but it's weird since I started this, even though I'm not necessarily trying to make myself not eat a certain amount, I have actually just been choosing to eat half, you know, half and I might have half lately. Actually, I've had half every day. Um, but it's been fine. And, and it's just, it's just so weird to me to not want to like gorge myself on whatever it is I'm eating and especially something that tastes sweet. I have always had a problem with that. Not always, but I, I should say, you know, for the last seven, eight years. So I am very happy. I know that it's definitely due to this protocol. Um, even though the CrossFit is wonderful for gaining muscle, I don't think it has anything to do with fat loss or, um, or controlling my cravings because when I first started the CrossFit, I, that's part of why I was eating so much more. I was just like hungry, you know, and I just was stuffing myself even more and I was gaining fat and muscle. So, um, I, I don't think that that's a good tool for weight loss, but it's a good tool for getting strong and doing the fasting just keeps my calories in check in a way that's just simple and I don't even have to think about it. So, um, anyway, I'm doing really good and I just wanted to let you guys know, you know, what I'm up to. I'm fasting again today and then I'm going to eat dinner later. And um, it's just going so good. So I guess it's been 60 days now. So I guess that's about two months, two months now. Um, and, you know, honestly, I really do believe if I had found this at the beginning of P3 that I would have been maintaining my 122.8. So I just I didn't know about this at first. So anyway, that is my update. Um, if you guys have any more questions about it, let me know. Um, I'm just so excited to have found this. It's just so simple and I don't have to think about it and it works and it's like makes me want the right foods and I'm all of a sudden eating less and I'm not even trying. Um, I really believe um, that a lot of things are not only mental. Um, I, sh I just, I've experienced this so many times now because of having a chronic illness starting from like six years ago. Um, I've learned that, you know, what sometimes people might think of as, um, like, oh, I just need to have more self-control or I just need to try harder. I, for me, I've come to believe that a lot of things are really just actually something messed up inside with either your hormones or some other physical thing. And that when that is fixed, it's instantly easier to do what you're supposed to do because I've experienced it so many times when I was really fatigued and my thyroid was.